Hello there and thanks for logging on to Tuesday's edition of Who Has Sports Today. Now this episode we will catch up on all the news surrounding the clubs with their transfers, one-to-way players and sneaky deals. But first we bring you an update of the London Riots and how it has affected a couple of Carling Cup fixtures next week while Tottenham's fixture with Everton could be postponed looking at the current state of events. As violence continued for the third consecutive day where shops and buildings were looted while firefighters Firefighters tackled blazers and police clashed with youths. Reports even say that hotels in the area were told to keep their doors locked. Meanwhile, Tuesday's Carling Cup ties at West Ham and Charlton have been called off and that puts the London-based Premier League fixtures in jeopardy. Arsenal and Chelsea play away. However, Fulham, Queen's Park Rangers and Tottenham are at home and it's their fixture with Everton that could be called off. But Spurs have issued a statement on the official website indicating that they are in talks with the authorities and as it stands, the game is a goal for the time being. And if it does get called off, then trying to find a replacement date will add to the fixture congestion towards the second half of the season. But safety of the teams and the spectators is paramount. Let's hope that the tensions in London subsides and things will get back to normal as soon as possible. Right, moving on, with just days to the kickoff of the Premier League season proper and only three and a half weeks remaining in the transfer window, teams are jostling to secure players. Chelsea are continuing their acquisition of new and young players in the hope of replacing the ageing ones. Today, they could be on the verge of acquiring 18-year-old Romelu Lukaku from Anderlecht after Arsenal, who are said to be wanting him for some time. He is expected to undergo a medical examination at Stamford Bridge today and the Blues are expected to sign him sometime on Thursday for £18 million. Some may be cynical of Chelsea's purchase of this youngster but he has always dreamt of playing at the club ever since he made a field trip to Stamford Bridge when he was 16. The proof is in this YouTube video of Lukaku's visit to Chelsea. Give me a ball, I bleef hier vijf uur Dit is gewoon een stad. The day that I here is the only thing that I have to do with you. But the rest is not. Never. Only as I here spell. Drone. Can I drone? Can I experience it? Well, Chelsea fans, it's time to take out your scarves, banners and a box of tissues. While the Arsenal fans may be a little disgusted by the events, Lukaku made headlines when he debuted at 16 and has average of two goals per game. Did he at Rockba 2.0 maybe? And just briefly, Chelsea also expected to make a third and final bid for Tottenham's Luka Modric, but the definite outcome may be only known hours before the transfer window closes at the end of August. Back to Arsenal and the Gunners are a little deflated at the moment, not just because they lost out on Lukaku, but they will have no less than nine players out for the opening match against Newcastle. Robin Van Persie, Kieran Gibbs and Thomas Vermeulen picked up knocks in their friendly with Benfica, while Theo Walcott and coming down to the bottom row, Jack Wilshire, Lauren Koscielny, Abu Dhabi and Sami Nasri are injured. Sas Fabregas is said to be unfit. Not the kind of news a manager would like to hear, especially when you're up against your biggest rivals in consecutive weeks. Time for the unknowns to rise, maybe. And as for Nasri, it's just a rumour, but apparently he could be on his way to Manchester City for £185,000 a week. I believe City can afford that pay package. But whether Nasri is actually heading there or another club is going to come and get him can't be confirmed just yet. And that conveniently leads us to Eastlands, and things to, uh, seem to be back to normal after that devastating loss to United in the Community Shield. Joe Hart has just signed a five-year deal extension while mystery man Carlos Tevez returned to training on Monday after missing out on the Community Shield after having been granted an extended leave. Though his return could be seen as timely boost for Roberto, Roberto Mancini's side, City's Argentinian talisman will be stripped off his captaincy and the role will be handed to last season's stand-in captain Vincent Company. Whether Tevez will, will leave City or not still can't be confirmed, but there's every chance of him staying on for at least until the end of January. As mentioned, still three and a half weeks away till the transfer window closes, so anything or any who can happen. They will first have to look to their big one this Monday with Swansea. We will wrap it up for now and see what happens in the days ahead. And we will also bring you a special segment on Friday. Who has spots 10 reasons why you should follow this Premier League season. Till then, I'm Patrick for the team saying it's bye for now.